Hey, welcome, Mario here from foodtools.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your iMatch database and how to perform the initial configuration. Start iMatch by double clicking the icon on the desktop. When you start iMatch for the first time, it will ask you for the preferred user interface language. Foodtools.com delivers translations for English and the German language. All other languages are provided by volunteer users. These translations are more or less complete and up to date. When iMatch detects that you are using a high DPI monitor, it asks if you want to use a larger icon set. This takes care that iMatch displays menu bars, toolbars, buttons and tree icons in a larger size. You can change these settings later at any time in the application preferences. For now, we use the defaults. In this dialog box, click on the Create the Database command. This creates the database and performs the initial configuration. You need to do this only once. Pick a folder to store the database or use the defaults. It is highly recommended to use your fastest hard disk for storing the image database. The faster the disk, the faster image will later perform. Keep the defaults for all other settings. iMatch now creates and initializes the database. This can take a minute. We keep the default cache settings for now. And since I'm planning to use Nikon NEF RAW files with this database, I enable the NEF file extension for body file management. When you enable body file management in iMatch, you tell iMatch to keep um, files with the same name as the original image and the extensions declared as body file extensions together when you move, copy, rename or uh, delete files. This way, uh, all files belonging together are kept together by iMatch automatically. That's it. The database has been created and is now ready to be used. In the follow-up video for this, I'm going to show you how to add images to your database and how to start managing your digital assets.